Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2014 TV Week Logies nominations announcement. Uh, you know the countdown is now truly on. We are barely weeks away from finding out who the incredibly gorgeous creatures are that hurtle down that red carpet to a life of rich and fame, gorgeous times, Logie star. Just, just, just on that quickly before yeah. we go on. You, um, you tweeted me yesterday. Oh, I did. Uh, announcing that tomorrow, as in today, uh, you were looking forward to a puppy check. Yes. Now, I, I thought this is a, I thought this is all about the Logies, um, and I don't see a Labrador. So, what is actually going on? I, uh, I just, I didn't know you were following me, and mm -hmm. I, uh, I definitely tweeted that I would like you to. Uh, <clears throat> Check my puppies, but um, I, brought, I, uh, I brought all the gear. Don't worry. Yep. Oh yes, uh, yes. Uh, you know, there's a thousand things I want to say, but I'm in a comedy cul-de-sac should... of glove references, and so um, no, we're here for a more formal them. time. Yeah, we are here actually to, to talk about nominees, and no yep. one knows nominees more than the editor of TV Week, mm. Emma Nolan. Delicious. Let's hear from her. Thanks, Julia and Chris. Uh, welcome everyone here to Club 23 for our TV Week Logies nominations reveal. After a record-breaking voting period, we're thrilled to announce an exciting list of nominees, and it won't be long, and you'll be in the know. Uh, in addition, we have some world-class performers lined up. As you know, we already have announced John Newman, MKTO, and Kylie Minogue. They'll all be gracing our screen. We're thrilled that Kylie, our youngest ever Gold Logie recipient, will, will be returning to our event and she's just as excited as you'll see in this video. Hi everyone, I am coming back for the Logies. I can't tell you how excited I am. It's been way, 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 way too long. I'll be performing and presenting the Gold Logie. I cannot wait. I will see you all there. Uh, and I have some more great news. Uh, Jason Derulo will be also performing. Jason is an amazing performer, as you know. Uh, he sold 30 million singles worldwide, so it's going to be a great lineup and a great show. And in a final announcement, TV Week is so pleased to announce that for the first time there will be a prize for the Graham Kennedy Most Outstanding Newcomer Award, thanks to our sponsor, Priceline Pharmacy. In addition to a prize TV, prize TV Week Logie Award, the recipient will win a trip to Hollywood through Australians in Film, the LA-based organisation, round, tri ti round uh, tickets to LA with Virgin Australia, and a one-year scholarship with the Stella Adler Acting School. And also uh, mentoring with industry experts. We're really <laughs> pleased to announce that. Uh, so thank you again for everyone for coming, uh, and congratulations and good luck to all our nominees. And I'll hand you back to Julia and Chris. Thank you. Amazing. Well, of course, uh, now we really have to get on with the grown-up stuff. All of the free-to-air, the subscription and community TV networks were invited to submit entries for the 2014 TV Week Logie Awards. All the nominees will be competing for awards in 22 categories. Oh, so excited. And the Australian public, of course, vote for the 10 most popular awards and the 12 most outstanding awards are voted by independent industry experts. So they are very much got a finger on the pulse mm. there. Uh, votes, of course, are counted by Roy Morgan. Oh, I've never heard such sexy talk. And they are... <laughs> Audited by Ernst and Young. Mm. 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 Putting, putting Roy and his counting aside yeah. for a second, mm -hmm. uh, it is always nice to receive a pat on the back from your peers yeah. uh, rather than a, a stab in the back, I guess. <laughs> um, so we'll start off this afternoon with some nominees for the most outstanding awards, excluding the Hall of Fame, which will obviously be kept for the big occasion. So the nominees are... The most outstanding children's program are Dance Academy, ABC3, Move It Mob Style, NITV, Nowhere Boys, ABC3, Play Along With Sam, who I believe is here in the house today, Network, uh, Big Pardon, Foxtel and uh, Nick Jr. And Play School, ABC for Kids. Now, in the most outstanding sports coverage category, we have some nominees, and they are the 2013 Emirates Melbourne Cup Carnival, Channel 7. 
2013 NRL Grand Final, the Nine Network. 2013 Toyota AFL Grand Final, Channel 7. The Ashes Cricket, Australia v England, the Nine Network. And the Tour de France, SBS 1. Ha 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 ha! Oui. The nominees for the most outstanding factual program are Desert War, ABC 1. Dirty Business, SBS 1. Jabbed, SBS 1. King's Cross ER, St Vincent's Hospital, Foxtel and Crime Investigation Network. And Redesign My Brain. <laughs> oh God, if I had a dollar. Uh, ABC One. Sounds like a, a standard Saturday night out for you, actually, yeah, that, that list of nominees. There's so much redesignation of my brain, I can't even begin to tell you. Um, the nominees in the category for the most outstanding <laughs> public affairs report are A Gracious Gift, Four Corners, ABC One, Drugs in Sport, oh, Stephen Dank, no. 7.30, <laughs> ABC One. Yes. Been following that one closely, haven't you? Yeah. Manus Island, Dateline, SBS One. Uh, not to be confused with Manu's Island, which is a different program. <laughs> um, Prime Suspects, Sunday Night, Channel 7. And Prisoner X, The Australian Connection, foreign correspondent, ABC One. Most outstanding public affairs report. So, now I'm about to read the most outstanding news coverage, but now I know how old I am because I have seen all of those programs. Do you remember in the halcyon days you were like, I've got no idea what anyone's talking about. These days I've seen every one of them, so I don't know what happened in my life, but anyway, I'm in the private home. The most <laughs> outstanding news coverage are Crisis in Cairo, Brett Mason, The World News Australia, SBS One, extraordinary. Uh, Leadership Spill, Foxtel and Sky News, excellent. Missing the Boat, James Diaz interview, which was uh, the 10 Eyewitness News, 10 Network. It was extraordinary. Uh, New South Wales bushfires. I'm pretending I've seen them now, so it's not really intelligent. Do you love it? Um, New South Wales bushfires, the uh, Nine News from the Nine Network, and the Dark Side of the Force, uh, Seven News, Channel 7. To the category of the most outstanding light entertainment program, the nominees are Howzo's SBS One. It's a date, ABC One, not to be confused with the Commando and Michelle Bridges love affair. That's a different story yeah, it is. altogether. That's a different sort of date. Um, <laughs> okay. pl please like me, ABC Two, The Voice Australia, The Nine Network, and Upper Middle Bogan, not to be confused with Julian Morris, ABC <laughs> One. It's tricky times, but it is light entertainment in my head. And so, uh, the TV Week Silver Logie for the most outstanding miniseries or telly movie are. An Accidental Soldier, ABC One. Better Man, SBS One. Paper Giants, Magazine Wars, ABC One. Power Games, The Packer Murdoch Story, The Nine Network. And Top of the Lake, Foxtel and UK TV. The nominees in the category of the TV Week Silver Logie for most outstanding drama series are A Place to Call Home, Channel 7. Offspring, Network 10. Redfern Now, ABC One. The Time of Our Lives, ABC One, and Wentworth, Foxtel Soho. Yeah. Oh, popular choices, kids. <laughs> the nominees for the category of the Graham Kennedy Award, the most outstanding newcomer, uh, are Anna Bamford from Wonderland, Network 10, Karen Pistorius, uh, Paper Giants, Magazine Wars, ABC One. You can imagine how much I wanted to say about the surname, but it's not related in any way, so she's amazing. <laughs> okay. Yep. And uh, Main Wyatt from Redfern Now, ABC One. Uh, Remy Hart from Better Man, uh, SBS One. And Sharina Clanton from Wentworth, uh, Foxtel, Soho. Well done. You promised you wouldn't say those things. You oh, just did. I, didn't know. Um, I get confused. The nominees in the category of Tiwi Week Silver Logie Most Outstanding Actress are Asha Ketty, mm. such a newcomer. Divine. I'm sure it's her first nomination. She loves it. Mm. Offspring Network mm. 10. Claudia Carvin, The Time of Our Lives, ABC yeah, One. Gorgeous. Danielle Cormack, Wentworth, mm. Foxtel Soho. Delicios. Kat Stewart, Offspring Network 10. Sensational. And Mandy McElhinney. Oh. She's so awesome. It's Rhonda. Yes, it is. Paper Giants, Magazine Wars, That's ABC exactly One. exactly right. So that is extraordinary and awesome. Uh, the most uh, outstanding actor, the TV Week Silver Logie, the nominees are Chris Zilli, Jemay, Private School Girl, ABC One. Craig McLaughlin, oh, my beating heart. Dan says I've got mentionitis about Craig McLaughlin. Just keep coming home and saying his name in the private home. Anyway, not to worry. Uh, the Dr. Blake Mysteries, ABC One. David Wenham, mm, mm, mm. Uh -huh. uh, Better Man, SBS One. Uh, 
Uh, Kirk Page, Redfern Now, ABC One, who is delicious. Uh, Lockie Hume, oh, yeah. Uh, Power Games, the Packer Murdoch story. Are we Nine having a work. When Harry Met Sally moment <laughs> here? <laughs> Just reading their names, they come immediately back into my head and I think, oh, yeah, why wouldn't you? Mm. They're beautiful people, so... Sure. Did I... Yeah, you you're just, the nicest, you though. Said it. <laughs> Are you done? Yes. Finished? That's hard to say. OK. <laughs> Good. Shall we continue? Yeah, probably best. Look, um, there would be no television industry without an audience. And what I'm getting to here um, in sort of a long-winded segue <laughs> is the fact that it's now time to announce the nominees for the most popular TV Week Logie Awards. And should we do that now? I think we're mad if we don't. I think so. Um, the most popular lifestyle program. Let's get underway. Better Homes and Gardens, Channel 7. Domestic Blitz, The Block to the Rescue, Nine Network. Embarrass embarrassing Bodies Down Under, Foxtel, Lifestyle and You. Selling Houses Australia, Foxtel, Lifestyle Channel. And The Living Room. Hey! Yeah, mm. Network hey! team. Yeah, well done. If you didn't realise, Miguel is in the room. Yeah. <laughs> the, the one man publicity machine for The Living Room. Welcome. Hey! Thank you. He's shy. Uh, the nominees in the category of the most popular sports program are Before the Game, Network 10, The AFL Footy Show, The Nine Network, The Cricket Show, The Nine Network, The NRL Footy Show, The Nine Network, and guess what? The Wide World of Sports, The Nine Network. They mm. love it, Dale. They'll be very pleased with those results. Uh, the category for the most popular reality program are Big Brother, The Nine Network, Bondi Rescue, Network 10. My Kitchen Rules, Channel 7. The Block All Stars, The Nine Network. And The Block Sky High, The Nine Network. Uh, in the category of the most popular light entertainment program, the nominees are Hamish and Andy's Gap Year Asia, The Nine Network. Jemay, oh. Private School Girl, ABC One. So much joy. You're going again. The Project, Network 10. The Voice Australia, The Nine Network. And The X Factor Australia, Channel 7. Spectacular work there. The most popular drama program are Home and Away, Channel 7. House Husbands, Network 9. Mm, not bad. I love that. It's a good show, isn't it? Um, <laughs> Miss Fisher's Murder Mysteries, ABC One. Offspring, Network 10. And Winners and Losers, Channel 7. Mm. See, I should have said this before. I'm finding it hard to, to go on. You just mentioned Home and Away. Yeah. Did you see TV Week this morning? I've been... I've got my concerns. I'm worried. Mm, I know. Look, for those that don't know, um, it, it's hard to be here and all lighthearted and having a good time here because if you read TV Week today, um, it's a crisis. <laughs> it's a crisis in Summer Bay because... Yeah. Just here. Says it all. It does. Alf is considering donating part of his liver. Don't. Why? Because of a freak risotto accident. Oh, God. It's true. Why risotto? Why? There's been a risotto poisoning in Summer Bay. Is there? Yep. True story. It's a nightmare. That's one dish I'd like to see them judge over at MKR. Yeah. You know, I'm sure it would have been because they didn't activate the Arborio or... <laughs> Something like that. If there's one thing I love, it's a bit of activated mm. arboreo, doll. Can't get enough. Shall we continue with <laughs> we, oh, strong hearts? I have no idea where mm. we're up to, to be completely frank with you, but it sounds exciting. I think we're, oh, it's actually me. Is it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. The nominees in the category of the TV Week Silver Logie for Most Popular Presenter. Big award. It is a big award. Adam Hills. ABC, Adam Hills tonight, ABC One. Get in there, Hillsy. Andy Lee, mm. Hamish and Andy's Gap Year Asia, The Nine Network. Jesus. Carrie Bickmore. Oh. The Project, Network 10. Clever and beautiful. Yep. Mm. Hamish Blake, and, mm. and I've heard a number of different pronunciations of Bigmore lately. My favourite by... Was it, who said it? Who said Johnny Knoxville said Carrie Dickmore? Brilliant. Oh. Um, but you, you said Qantas the wrong it way, so well I guess though. it all evened itself out, really, didn't it? Um, Hamish Blake, Hamish and Andy's Gap Year Asia, The Nine Network, and Scott Cam, mm. The Block, The Nine Network. A man who... Yeah. Deserves applause, not just for his efforts in television, but for the fact that 
he calls me up not only about his dog's health problems, oh. but also his kids. Oh, I love it. So, well done, Scotty. Yeah. Just give him a little schmacko and send him off to school, <laughs> doll. <laughs> That's pretty much the advice, which is scary. Yeah. Dogs go wacko for schmackos. Okay, let's move on. Um, most popular new talent. So, oh, how lucky are we? I mean, there's a couple of tired old sticks like me around, but there are some extraordinary uh, efforts from our new talent coming through in our industry. And we're very pleased to announce that these nominees are Abby Earle, who plays Anna Bly on A Place to Call Home with Channel 7. Bonnie Sveen, who is Ricky Sharp, A Home and Away, Channel 7. Careful. Karen Pistorius, who is Eloise Ward on Offspring, uh, Network 10. She's also Janine Miles in Redfern Now. ABC One, and she's Beth Ridgeway in Paper Giants, the magazine wars ABC One. How much work can one newcomer get? <laughs> no judgment. Good on you, that's terrific. Um, Johnny Rufo, who is Chris Harrington in Home and Away on Channel 7, and wait for it, Tim Amatic, Tim Amatic, I just, uh, uh. anyway, um, Australia's Got Talent, The Nine Network. I've got a lot of moves. Uh, I yeah, know. I've seen half of them, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, the nominees in the category of the TV Week Silver Logie for Most Popular Actress are... Oh, the actresses. Asha Ketty, Nina Proudman, Offspring Network 10. Beautiful. Essie Davis, Franny Fisher, Miss, Miss Fisher's Murder Mysteries, yeah, ABC One. Yeah, love it. Skip the next one. Um, Marta Dusseldorp, Sarah love Adams, A Place to Call Home, Channel 7. Rebecca Gibney, Julie Rafter, Pack to the Rafters, love Channel 7. Her. And, oh, sorry, we missed one. Julia Morris. Gemma Crab, House Husbands, The Nine News. Are you effing joking me? <laughs> That's well lovely news. It's good news, isn't it? Hey, hang on. Oh! <laughs> it was in this script, um, <laughs> which we only got a half an hour ago, mm. and I did swear out loud, really loud, so I'm glad that I saw it a half an hour ago, rather <laughs> than going, oh, okay, friends. <laughs> Silver Logie for Most Popular Actor. The nominees are Chris Lilly, who plays Jemay King in Jemay Private School Girl, ABC One. Dan Ewing, oh. Uh, Heath Braxton, Home and Away at Channel 7. Hugh Sheridan, uh, uh, um. What do you yeah. mean by uh, uh, uh? Oh, yum. Young people. Um, <laughs> ben Rafter on Pack to the Rafters, Channel 7. Matthew Lenevis, who is so divine, Dr. Patrick Reed. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I know me all right. I'll never forgive them. Um, Offspring Network 10. And Steve Peacock. Mm, I love this peacock. Cock, cock, his peacock. Cock. I love this peacock. Anyway, that's a so Katy Perry we, song. We talked about, that's, about you yeah, not doing I promised I would not do that. He is Daryl Brax. Braxton, Home and Away, Channel 7. Thank God he didn't have the risotto. Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry. <I> just... <sighs> yeah, it's all right, babe. It's going to be okay. Hang in there. Hang in there. <sighs> okay. To a very serious note. Oh, wow. Well, we've reached the, uh, the climax. Actually, you reached that about five minutes ago from, <laughs> from memory. Um, the nominees for TV Week Gold Logie. It's a big one. It is a big one. It's the most popular personality on TV. These people will be working for anything up to two or three years after this. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's exciting. Yeah. I'm not joking. I'm dead, dead serious. It's yeah. very exciting it to be one of the top six personalities in the country. Mm. It's we... huge. Oh, it's massive. Oh, do you want to read them? Oh, if you don't mind. No, go for it. Okay, they are. Andy Lee, Hamish and Eddie's Gap Year Asia, The Nine Network. Asha Ketty, Nina Proudman, Offspring Network 10. Carrie Bickmore, The Project, Network 10. Gorgeous. Essie Davis, Franny Fisher, Miss yeah. Fisher's Murder Mysteries, awesome. ABC One. Scotty Cam, mm. The Block, The Nine Network. In the room. And Steve P. Cock. 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 Daryl yeah. Brax Braxton, mm. Home and Away, really Channel is. 7. Well done, guys. Absolutely spectacular work all round. To those nominees who are in the room with us today, congratulations. It's terribly, terribly exciting. You know, it's uh, to be voted not just among your peers, but by Australia. You know that somewhere along the line, you're doing the right thing. And it's great news. And, you know, I think it's very, very exciting. I know lots of people 
get involved by saying all sorts of little tricky things about the Logies. People who are so groovy, they're not actually invited to turn up on the night. But it is exciting. It's uh, anyway. There you go. I don't, I got excited. Um, Congratulations to all our nominees. Uh, if you want to share and congratulate them, of course, you can do so online. Babes, digital platform, it's going everywhere. Do you know what I mean? Get involved if you're not. Finger on the pulse is what I'm saying. Yeah. What you need to do is you need to head yourselves over to the TV Week Facebook page. Uh, it is at TV Week Mag, and that, there you'll find a gallery of the nominees' pictures. Oh, God. I hope I... No, anyway. you look good. No, you that's good. nice. How's this lighting? Um, <laughs> And you can share, of course, uh, your own accounts of today. And the official hashtag for the event is hashtag TV Week Logies. Mm. I'm mad for a hashtag. You love a hashtag, oh, don't you? See, it's not the 80s anymore. I used to be mad for hash, but now I'm mad for a hashtag. <laughs> and I think it's an exciting growth for me as a performer uh, to have moved through there. So that's nice. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. Um, and thank you, TV Week magazine. Thank you, Club 23, for having us here this afternoon. Obviously, these are the nominees. It all leads up to the big night, Sunday, yeah. April 27th. I haven't eaten any sugar since January 2nd getting ready for it. There's no way I'm excited. I can tell you're excited. <laughs> um, we'll see you there, and we're looking forward to it. Don't forget the big date, Sunday, April 27th, TV Week Logie Awards. What's the hashtag? And the hashtag is so totally TV Week Logies. Love it, Ingham Chicken, love them, get involved. <laughs>